Hi everyone, I hope you had a nice week. Um, in this class, I will be posting an announcement every weekend. I didn't mention it last week because there's so much to acclimate to as far as the navigation of the course, what's expected, getting the materials and so on. Um, but I like to post an announcement each weekend to give you um, uh, an overview of what to expect for the week. And so that's what this announcement is. And so please know that uh, each weekend at some point I'll post an announcement. I try to keep it at that because I know you're busy and that you took the online uh, course because, you know, you're trying to fit everything in. And so I don't want you to be stressed that, you know, I'm going to be sending random announcements every other day that might be, you know, really imperative that you, um, that you see. So each weekend I will post uh, an announcement. So that's what, that's what this is. So a uh, crazy start to the semester. Um, the, the weather, uh, it, it looks like our, our email system is down. I was hoping that it would be back up way before this. Um, there is an email system within Brightspace, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to post my personal email on the announcement, and you can use my personal email to get in touch with me while our NCCC email is down. Uh, one thing that's really, really important in an online class is that we're able to communicate with each other. So with the email, the college email not working, um, that's a big, big problem for this class. And there is a way that we can do email through Brightspace. The problem being, I have to log on to Brightspace, you have to log on to Brightspace to see the reply. And uh, this way, if you use my personal email, I'll see it right on my phone and I'll know you have a question or an issue. So... Um, so a few things before I get started with the week. Thank you so much for posting introductions and um, responding to people and getting a little bit of uh, discussion going. It was really interesting for me to see everyone's introductions, really exciting to see all the new names in the class, and interesting to see some uh, of my face-to-face -face students uh, uh, jump ship from face-to-face, -face and they're going to try the online modality this semester. So. So that's great. Um, really nice to see everyone. And I know you're busy. I mentioned that already. And so what I did is I went through all of the um, introductions and the posts, and I uh, made notes about um, the study tips that people are, are offering. And I wanted to just talk a few minutes about what you posted on the introduction. So this is this is all you. There's great stuff on there. Uh, and just in case uh, you wanted to look back, and actually I think you should look back at the introduction post because many of you have um, questions that are being posed to you personally or, you know, people are starting conversations. And so please check back uh, to your post and, um, and see if uh, there's anything else that you need to address. So one big theme in the tips is time management, which is huge in this class. I couldn't agree with this more. And let me just apologize ahead of time for it. I know I'm not giving everyone credit uh, for the ideas that they came up with. So in other words, I know I've missed some people, but I tried to, you know, just take some um, quick notes. So calendar entry, that was a big um, tip. And so it's really, really important to know the due dates, to lose any points whatsoever for not turning in a homework or, or not taking the test on time. You know, you have a 48 hour period to take it is just throwing points away. You don't want to do that. It's it's not going to be that uh, easy in here. We definitely want to get all the points that we can get. So make sure you know the due dates. The homework is due every Wednesday, starting this Wednesday. Uh, spend time each day on the course. Great suggestion. Use study intervals. That is definitely a favorite method of mine because there's so much to know, right? So if I just take a little segment and I look at that, even if I don't know it, you know, I look at that and then I go, you know, clean the kitchen. I don't know. And then come back to, you know, doing that. That is extremely effective. Study before bed each night. That's also a favorite method of mine. Uh, I always like look through things um, at night and then it's amazing the ideas and understanding that can happen overnight. Anytime it's study time, uh, definitely I agree with that uh, in the class because there's always something to do during your work break, you know, during any type of like uh, time that you can take a look at the notes, you should be looking at the notes, which kind of goes along with multitasking. You know, how can you fit this into your regular schedule without, you know, um, 
without being too intrusive and then also you have to carve out time just for the class as people are saying. So another big theme that I saw in uh, the post were the notes, which I completely agree with. The notes are really like the essential information that you should know. People in my face-to-face -face class sometimes ask me, you know, like what are the important points? Well, I've already like carved out the important points in the notes, you know, compared to the book and compared to all the complexity that there is. And so the notes are really essential. You know, know, know the notes, know them uh, forwards and backwards. Watch the videos that I have uh, embedded in the notes. Print the notes. That's a great tip. Uh, print the notes and then mark up the notes, color code the notes. So I started doing um, uh, color coding some of the pictures in the notes this week in the lecture videos. So you'll uh, see that. I'll talk about that more in a little bit. Make sure to use the college resources. We have free tutoring available. The syllabus has a link to um, actually schedule, schedule an appointment with a tutor. And then, of course, the um, ACE Center in the library has a lot of materials for AMP, and you should definitely take advantage of that. And then there are personal factors. Um, stay committed. Don't put it off for later. Very tough to do, right, because we're all juggling so many different responsibilities. But this is definitely something that you don't want to put off. Remember, this is not the end game for uh, any any of you. This class is a foundational class to help you succeed in um, more advanced coursework. You have to get this down. So this is, you know, a major commitment and a personal commitment. Uh, you will be changed forever with your knowledge gained, you know, through this course. So stay organized, you know, maybe create um, a schedule for yourself, when you're going to work on the homework, when you're going to look at the notes, you know, and, and don't make it one big block, you know, just spread it out throughout uh, the week, throughout the day. I thought this was a great little piece of advice to take your time. Don't rush, reread the notes, reread the homework. Um, and so you don't want to just, you know, rush through it. Like I said, it, this is a, a foundational uh, course. This is, this is going to allow your success down the line. And don't be afraid to ask questions. So all great tips. I'm going to post this in the Unit 1 folder. These are just notes that I took from your introductions, like I said. And um, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that. So as far as this week goes, what you need to do is go into the weekly to-do list. And open up week 2. And you'll see, you know, where we are in the unit. So we're on reproductive system. This week we're going to cover a female reproductive system. The uh, first homework is due uh, by midnight um, this uh, this Wednesday. Or, pardon me, the week two homework. See, I'm mixed up on the dates. Keeping the calendar is really going to be essential. So the week one homework is due uh, this Wednesday. This is the week two homework. Okay, so the week two homework is due next week. Um, and I'm going to show you that. I'll pull up the homework and show you that. So this is a three-week unit, and I'm just telling you when the test is going to be, as a reminder. So we're covering the female reproductive system. Uh, I'm giving you the note pages, the basic topics. Uh, as you know, the notes are cross-referenced with the book, okay? And so I'm not just um, giving you sections of the book. This is the order in which I'm talking about these things in the notes. And so as far as lecture videos, uh, Sorry about the lecture video I put out last week. I think it was a really bad video. And um, of course, you know to look at the notes and read the, you know, or watch the videos that I have in the notes. And so what I did this week is I actually like go through the notes and I highlight the notes with you. So starting with the um, start a female reproductive system, I'm going through the notes. I'm showing you what I'm talking about. I'm highlighting the notes. And this is where, like, uh, pictures that I give you in the notes, I color code those pictures. Pictures. That's what I do face-to-face, -to -face too. So we would take a look at the picture, and I would explain it. And maybe here's a little bit of an example. So there's this graph in the notes. And so what I do is I mark that up. And so you should have your notes printed, and you should have um, colored pencils, something like that, highlighter. And uh, you can go through the notes with me and, and see if they uh, if the notes make sense. So these required videos, these are the notes, or the videos that I have embedded in the notes. Okay, so these are all embedded in the notes, but they're right here in case you don't want to have to keep going back to the notes. And so I've made individual videos about the topics that we're covering this week. And so those videos are there for quick 
reference. And these are the same videos that are in the video playlist in the Unit 1 folder. So the homework, let's jump to that. So homework, um, the week one homework, this is the one that's been available to you. This is the one that's due this Wednesday, the week one homework, which has questions about male reproductive system and um, the syllabus, okay, the policies of the class. The week two homework, this is the one I'm opening this week, uh, also has questions about male reproductive system. And so you're going to see in this unit, because uh, there's so much material, instead of putting like all the male reproductive um, system practice questions out there at once, I have a lot of them in week one, but I definitely have uh, a bunch in uh, week two. So week two, I also have questions about female reproductive system. And then heads up for week three, I'm doing the same thing. I'll have more about the female reproductive system in week three, and then all of development, just because we'll be ending the unit um, in week three. So these are just uh, quick links that I put up. You could always click on Mastering Assignments to see any assignment that is um, in the class, whether it's, I put the link up here or not. Okay, so that's the homework. Also, I want to mention with um, this week two homework, I changed the settings so that you can get the answer wrong one time. And I'll tell you that it's uh, wrong um, instead of two times. So I'm making it a little bit, um, I guess, maybe a little bit tougher in that you have to get the answer correct within um, two, two answers instead of three answers. So that's the homework. Um, going to the Unit 1 folder... Um, so the lectures, those are the same ones I'm posting in the weekly um, list, the video playlist, same ones. But what I wanted to show you today is these um, fill-in-the-blank uh, questions, totally optional, because I saw in the introduction some people talking about flashcards, which um, a lot of students love flashcards. So this is the um, fill-in-the-blank questions. I just opened it, and I wanted to show you that what I tried to do is I tried to organize it like flashcards. Okay, so it's a table. And in this table, I'm basically asking, you know, like it's fill in the blank. So the primary sex organ is also known as the gonad. So in a male, it's the testes, and the female, it's the ovaries. What are the functions of the gonads? Uh, to produce the gametes and also to produce the sex hormone. So that's what I'm looking for there. Uh, but this is coming straight from the notes. So what I did is I took the notes and I created, you know, a bunch of questions. So these go in order of the notes. Okay, so uh, all of these answers are in the notes, but what I was thinking is that once you go through the notes, you could use this as a study tool. So you could fill this out like uh, off of memory. What do you remember? What don't you remember? And then if you wanted to, you could even use it kind of like a flashcard to cr or as like a template to create your own flashcards. So that's what these fill in the blank questions look like. They're really kind of like skeletal questions. And I would definitely go through the notes and see, like, what can I answer just off the top of my head? You know, what do I know here? And so these are the main points being um, made in in the notes. So that's what that is. If that is helpful uh, to you, I would uh, love for you to use that. And then I also posted some questions in... Um, in our, our Unit 1 question. So under Student Discussion, uh, you can see that I uh, posted some questions, which you um, can uh, try to answer or uh, reply to other people's answers, comment on other people's answers. So there's a, there's a bunch of questions. Those are questions that I like to do in um, my face-to-face -face class because um, um, they're, they're mainly about meiosis because it hits on some points that might be misunderstood. So I think that you're going to you're going to like uh, those. So that is all of the essential information for this week. I hope our email gets back up, but if not, uh, use my personal email. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you.